The FWC and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are dealing with what they call an unprecedented issue. We have had over a thousand manatees statewide die this uh, calendar year. Researchers say starvation, specifically lack of seagrass, is to blame. And that's why both agencies are joining in solidarity with FPNL to save the iconic and endangered species. Florida Power and Light has always invested heavily in our community and we believe investing in the manatee population is absolutely crucial to um, everything that we do in the state. The power company has set aside more than $700,000 to support new response initiatives that are already underway here along the Atlantic coastline. Our main effort is focused on identifying those animals and then doing health assessments on them and bringing them into rehabilitation as needed. Officials say the situation is so critical that they're prepared to do something they've never done before, launch an experimental feeding program. We have a rigorous, uh, well thought out protocol to feed manatees, um, basically lettuce, in a way that that hydrates them and there's a lot of nutrition in there for the manatees as well. The goal is to help minimize the number of deaths. However, the response effort does come with a few risks. We don't want manatees uh, associating boats with food because we're actually trying to separate boats from manatees for boat strikes. Uh, historically have been a very large mortality issue for manatees. If the program is launched, officials say it will last until the end of March, and if need be, they will be ready to re-implement it next year. Reporting in Riviera Beach, Kemeral Eppinger, WPTV News Channel 5.